My name is Alex Moseson and I'm a second year PhD student at Drexel working in the mechanical and materials departments and civil and science technology and society etc etc uh, all working towards appropriate technology which is uh, technology especially for the developing world. I was in physics class in high school and really enjoyed learning about how the world works but what I most enjoyed were the demos and even the word problems where it wasn't just learning about how a certain physical phenomena happens or whatever but it was about what we do with that and I was really interested in taking all that knowledge about how the world works and doing something with it and that really by definition is engineering. I'm definitely into photography and uh, that's a cool outlet because I get to touch a lot of buttons but it's still uh, it's a creative outlet it's something that uh, doesn't have one correct answer and I mean that carries over to engineering as well you might think it's all about you know solving this problem and getting the right answer for number 3.5 in the back of the textbook but there's so much that goes into engineering that is all about uh, being creative big influence from high school was Mr. Troy and he led our first robotics team so he was such an inspiration uh, when things were going well but especially when things were not going well about uh, pressing forward with uh, solving problems and whatever and now that's that is an award-winning team team 357 and uh, they have patents and they won all sorts of awards and it's a it's an awesome group there uh, I was blessed to go to Tanzania for three weeks after working with a team over the course of two years to develop a wood-turning lathe. And we went to several villages in Tanzania, not only telling people about these ideas, which I, I like to call seeding ideas, where we just give them that spark, and then uh, we partner with them to bring it into real life. I'm also involved in Engineers Without Borders, and this is a group that, as the name uh, suggests, we take our engineering knowledge to all corners of the earth, and they've got over 200 universities right now built up, and each of these teams goes to solve a specific problem in a specific community. So far, uh, our group has worked with a community in El Salvador and the women and children have to spend maybe about half the day, sometimes the whole day, walking half a mile each way up and down, I'm not joking, half a mile each way up and down uh, a big like thousand foot slope to gather dirty water so that they can drink this dirty water and cook with it and everything. And uh, we were able to help them in developing some solutions like pumping that water and, and cleaning it or drilling a deep well, things like that. And that uh, the project's going well, it's been a great experience. I'm looking to be a professor someday, and hopefully I'll be able to do my research on all this appropriate or intermediate or sustainable technology, so uh, I definitely want to make a career out of this, do this for my life.